The Dallas Cowboys have traded for former Alabama linebacker Rolando McClain. I'm Jim Basco with the latest ESPN headlines. The Cowboys hoping they can get what the Ravens haven't gotten out of the linebacker two times over. We are joined on the phone by Todd Archer, who covers the Cowboys for ESPN.com. Todd, this is a player that retired, saying he lost his passion for the game back in April. His second retirement did it again back in 2013. So what can the Cowboys possibly expect out of McLean? You know, it, it's hard to know what to expect from a guy who hasn't played a down of football since November of 2012 when he was with the Raiders, was suspended two games for contract det detrimental to the team after that, yep. I believe was deactivated. So, it, you know, th th this is a, a wish and a hope at this point, and, you know, you're taking a chance on a young guy. He turns 25 here in a couple weeks. Uh, they have a need. They lost Sean Lee with the torn ACL. He's out for the year. They're looking at guys like Justin Durant, Devontae Holloman, and Anthony Hitchens. You're t banking on what they thought of him in 2010, and the Cowboys liked him in 2010. He was the eighth pick in the draft. A lot of people liked him then. Mm -hmm. He's got a lot of a lot of things that have happened since then that that haven't been so good for him. But the Cowboys have a history of kind of making these moves of taking another team's wounded former yep. player and going forward. And and, and with a guy like Mark Colombo in 2005, 06, he becomes a starter and right tackle, a former first round pick of the Bears, and he owns a spot for for five five seasons. So the Ravens tried twice, couldn't get it out of him. He retired twice. As you mentioned, he's had the off-field issues. But again, as you mentioned, high draft pick. Do the Cowboys just have so much confidence in their staff that they feel like they can coach him up and just the change of scenery could pr produce different results on the field? I think so. And you know, They believe heavily in Rod Marinelli that he can be the guy that they can take a defense that it was without Jason Hatcher, without DeMarcus Ware, now without Sean Lee, and make it much better than it was last year. How do we define much better when they were 32nd in the league? I think if they get to the low 20s, that, that's making progress. If this is a, a defense that yeah. doesn't have you know, many playmakers right now or, many, or, or any playmakers that, that you can look at it at any level and say, okay, here's the, the bell cow of the sure. defense. They, they don't have that guy. Excellent point. They officially play Sean Lee on injured reserve and all these moves they're trying to make are really to kind of try to fill the void that he's left in that defense. How big a loss is Lee going to be when this next season rolls around? Huge, you know, and he was the bell cow. He was the guy who could make plays in the backfield, in the middle field, and at the, in the deep end. He led this team in interceptions last year and he missed five games altogether in, seven, in parts of seven games. So, you know, he's a huge loss from what he does on the field, a huge loss from what he does off the field, and they're trying to make up for the, in parts, try to get a couple downs out of a guy here, a couple downs out of a guy here, and hope they can kind of maybe come close to equaling what, what Sean Lee means to this defense. It, it's a tall task. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and say they're going to turn into doomsday here <laughs> anytime soon, even if Sean Lee was playing, but you'd certainly like your chances better if he was out there than rather being on the sidelines having to watch. Todd Archer covers the Dallas Cowboys for ESPN.com. Todd, thanks for the insight. You got it. Thank you. Again, the Cowboys trade for linebacker Rolando McClain. They give up a sixth-round pick in the 2015 draft, getting a seventh-rounder back with the former Alabama star. You can read more about this story right here on ESPN.com. With the latest ESPN headlines, I'm Jim Baskell.